What's going on guys? Sean Pierce here at my new studio, The Body Shop in East Brunswick, New Jersey. If you are watching this video, this video is an instructional video on belly piercings. This is not meant for people to try at home. This is for people that are training to be a body piercer or body piercers that want to learn different techniques. Today we have three different belly types. There's all different types of belly buttons. So I'm going to use three different ones and show you the best technique, uh, the best way to measure it and stuff like that. First belly we have is uh, a very common belly bu button. You see you have a little lip right here. She did have it once before, but it was very, very thin, very narrow, okay? Right here, there's really no lip. It just goes from the top straight in, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to measure that properly. Now over here, she had it once before, okay? You can see the scarring. However, it was not pierced right. It was a little too deep on the inside. So we're gonna remeasure it, make it nice and centered. Of course, first thing we're gonna do, Belly button should be done very, very quickly. Uh, there should be no bleeding or anything like that. You gotta make sure you use the proper tools. Um, measuring, you might er erase the mark 10 times. Measuring probably takes the longest time because you gotta make sure it's perfect. There always needs to be enough space on the bar for the skin to be manipulated. Whenever you lay down, your belly button stretches. Whenever you stand up, it retracts, okay? So you need to have enough room on the bar for your belly to stretch out on it. If it's too tight, you're gonna run into problems. So it has to be measured absolutely perfect. Tools that you're gonna be using, I prefer these clamps right here because it gets the area very well, all right? You can make sure it's open at the end. You're gonna use forceps, alcohol swab, 14 gauge needle. The jewelry that you're gonna use is a curved barbell, okay? Very common, double gemmed, 7 16 That's the best size to use. First thing you wanna do, swab the area. Give that a second to dry. Now while the alcohol is drying, you wanna make sure you get everything prepared. This way it's done quickly. You're not fumbling to get stuff done while she has a needle stuck in her. A lot of times with the belly, I like to use a headlamp. The more light, the better, and you get a more accurate detail on where the marking is. Now when it has a lip part right here, you kinda of wanna go right to the bottom of the lip. The whole idea of a belly piercing is for the jewelry to float in front of the belly, all right, not be buried inside the belly button. All right, go ahead, lay down right there. Throughout time, you're going to get used to the distance of how to mark it. Like I said, you can't mark it too, too long, otherwise if you do that, it's going to be too tight and the person is gonna run into problems every time they bend over. You wanna use a little petroleum jelly on the back. Always make sure you have a cork, so when it goes through, you cork the end. Now with the belly piercing, okay, you're gonna take your forceps just like that, push it down in the belly a little, grab the skin right there. This is very, very important to make sure it's nice and centered on both sides. You also want to make sure that the skin is nice and level going across, otherwise it'll be crooked. When you take the needle, you want to take it just like this, push down right here a little bit. Just touch it right to the tip, bring it forward, big breath in, big breath out. Take that, cork the end. One swift motion, you're going to hold the needle here, but hold the skin back so it doesn't drag with it. And then just swoop it right through. Pull it back a little bit, stand up, wipe the excess petroleum off, and there is your belly button sitting nice in front, floating right in front of the belly button. As far as aftercare, aftercare is very crucial with this, okay? You cannot wear high-waisted pants, okay? You gotta make sure you wash it once a day with a mild soap. Use Neomed's aftercare spray, all right? It's a nice fine mist. Spray it three times a day. For the first two weeks, every night before you go to bed, when you're laying down, you want to tell your customers to make sure they take the solution, make a puddle in their belly, and let it soak for two minutes. Helps it heal a lot quicker, okay? So we're going to go ahead. We're going to move on to the next one. I'm going to show you how to mark that. Come on over this way. First, first thing you're going to do is swab it. Make sure it's nice and clean. While that's drying, put it off your packaging, get everything prepared. Like I 
I said, some, if you get it on point every time, you're a champ. Like I said before, belly piercings, they should not bleed one bit. Sometimes a lot of piercers will use a bigger needle than they're supposed to. Some piercers, they prefer externally threaded uh, belly piercings. Me personally, I prefer the internally. It's a lot easier. Now again, you're gonna take the clamps, put it right below the dot, right in the center, and just grab a part of the skin. Make sure it's nice and centered, and the skin is nice and level right there. Take the tip of the needle right to the center of the dot. Just touch the skin, pull the clamp back, big breath in, and nice big breath out. Cork the end. Pull it back a little bit. I right, there, stand up. Face this way. As I said before, you always want to make sure you have a little bit of the bar exposed right there so that when the skin does stretch, there's room on the bar for it to move. As you can see, there's the belly piercing. Now the very last belly that we're gonna do has been pierced before, okay? Um, it was a little too deep and there's a little bit of scarring and it wasn't straight. So we're going to make new marks, make it, make it nice and straight. Let's get some new gloves. Here's our dear friend, Allie, one of the tattoo artists here. <laughs> like I stated before, if you guys have any questions, any concerns, I answer all the questions I get from subscribers and from followers. So you can hit me up anytime on Instagram or drop a comment below. Just make sure you hit the subscribe button. This, we're going to go right above where her old hole used to be. So it's very important to pinch a good amount of skin when you go to pierce it because you want to go behind that scar tissue right there. Now you can see where the mark used to be on both sides. And if you kind of look, it definitely was not straight or it migrated throughout time. Nice big breath in, nice big breath out. Good job. Cork the end. All right, and there you can see a belly piercing. It's much straighter now. There's enough room on the bottom. You see a portion of the bar. So when she stretches out, lays down, bends over, there's room for the skin to move on there. As far as aftercare, again, okay, with the aftercare instructions, you want to make sure that you get yourself a mild soap, dove sensitive skin, best soap to use. Neil Meds piercing aftercare, best aftercare to use. Wash it once a day. You got to make sure you guys give your customers the proper instructions, otherwise it's not going to heal properly and then they're going to blame you when they get an infection, okay? So you want to use Neil Meds three times a day for the first two weeks. You want to tell them when they're laying down every night before they go to bed, make a little puddle inside of their belly button, okay? Let it soak for two minutes. Again, you guys want to line up. We'll look at the three piercings right now. Nice and straight, room on the bar. That's how it should look every single time. Nice and straight, room on the bar. That's how it should look every time. Nice and straight, room on the bar, okay? If it's too tight, and you see the balls that are embedding into the skin, the jewelry is not long enough, or you went way too deep, okay? If you have any questions, any concerns at all, you can reach me on Instagram at underscore Sean Pierce. Until next time, take care. I had to change the scene cause my life just like move. Bitch, in the streets turn to a fighter, how can you? Bitch, jealous, hating.